Okay, so we have our image loaded into Illustrator, and this is going to be a short, brief tutorial on doing something with live paint. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make sure our image is selected, and we see that by making sure that there is a blue line around it. Okay, if it's not selected, we won't see that. Okay, like something like this. Okay, but we want to have it selected, so we click on it. Now we have a border and we can go into the object menu if we go down to where it says live trace this will trace the image and then we were, for this particular tutorial we're going to go to live trace and then make and convert to live paint okay so select that and what this will do is it will convert it into a traced image but also give us the freedom to then paint instances in that window too Okay, so now what we can do is use uh, the live paint bucket here, which is right here in the uh, tool menu. Okay, and you'll see it's marked as live paint bucket. And we can go over now and then select the color we want to use. And let's see here. I will pick this brown color. And now you can see as I go over particular parts of the image, the, when those are selected, that is areas that we can paint. So I can I want to paint this area brown. So I'll click, and now that's like a reddish brown color. And let's see, I want to maybe do this part up here. I'll do that a little yellow color. Okay, and so this is a way that you can paint instances in this window with uh, live paint and you can see here now the one thing you'll notice in this is that it only paints connected areas in the image okay and what I mean by that is you'll see if you look very closely in this image you see that there are areas of black down here black here and here and let me zoom in on that so you can see it a little better so get the magnifying glass and zoom in on this and you'll see that here we have an area of black that isn't connected to the rest of these brown. There's connection here to here, here to here, so this is brown but anywhere that it's not connected stayed the original color. So we have to go in, if we want to make those also the same color, we need to go in and make and uh, get that color set up. So we need to get the paint, use the paint, the eyedropper tool and then use the paint bucket for the live paint and then select that and now that's the same color okay so we can do that stay in the zoom view by using the hand tool and then grabbing over moving over here here's some more and then click click 